This guy right here, was it this guy? <laughs> but you were songwriting with him, right? Songwriting? <laughs> We did a song together, if that's right. what you're asking. Well, you were rumored to have had a one-night stand with Drake. <laughs> Nicki Minaj had just finished singing when she was surprised by Drake. She was not ready for him to treat her like this. She was almost speechless at his romantic gesture. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I could He's stay like that all day. Drake loves to make women feel good, and this female fan was definitely in for the shock of her life. I'm sorry, okay? Thank you so much for making me feel special. Hold on. Imagine how the women in the audience must have felt watching them. Drake put it all on the line at the 2016 Video Music Awards. Before he gave Rihanna her Vanguard Award, he had to get something off his chest. And her reaction was interesting, to say the least. She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. The women on The Real Talk Show were impressed by Drake collecting Hermes bags for his future wife. Tamira Maori was quick to take the opportunity to reveal her intentions with Drake. Drake always got to go over the top and do something special. Uh, you know, oh, Oh, I have special. another question. I would really, what if he gives like, do you think he gives sneak peeks to like his girlfriends or something? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like Jennifer Lopez was not ready for Ellen to expose her like that. This guy right here, was it this guy? <laughs> But you were songwriting with him, right? Songwriting? <laughs> we did a song together, if that's right. what you're asking. Well, she tried to downplay her interaction with Drake, but the pictures make it clear there was something going on. Well, because if I'm just saying if you're songwriting, there's a picture. Is that how you write a song? That's that. We, we weren't writing a song right at that moment. No. No. At that moment, what was happening? We, just, we were just hanging out. Just ha it's not every day you get to see your idol up close and personal. This female fan could not have prepared herself for Drake's attention. She could not believe he chose her. Oh. Nicki Minaj had a lot to say about Drake during the Pink Friday tour, but she didn't expect he would be so blunt with his response. She did her best to keep her cool. He's an actor. He's a poet. He's the worst kind, y'all. Right, girls? It's like, because you want to believe him. But the best fucking kind at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll, you know, because I'll talk to you. I'll listen. And you know I'll give it to you right if you want it. You understand what I'm saying? Zoe Kravitz was not one to kiss and tell, especially when it comes to Drake. While she does try to play it cool, her answer implies there's a lot more to the story. Like, you hung out, like, we like mashed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we hung out a little bit. You know, it's like how I hang out. I don't know how you hang out. Yeah, right, right, right. That's hot. That's hot. Nicki Minaj couldn't help but get flirty with Jake on the red carpet. It's obvious from her body language that she enjoyed being with him. You can feel there's chemistry between them. Drake is a smooth talker, and he knows the effect he has on women. This fan was not expecting to get compliments from her celebrity crush. She loved every second. I really like the outfit. I like the red lipstick is working for you. I like the wave in the hair and the gold earrings. Baby, I'm gonna be honest, I like a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I literally said in a Huffington Post article that like one night stands were my guilty pleasure. The real host Tatiana Ali happened to be at a birthday party at the same nightclub as Drake. Her co-hosts were shocked to find out what happened between them that night. I mean, a bottle of champagne, whatever, and we took a picture. Rumored to have had a one night stand with Drake. <laughs> girl, is that true, girl? No, it's not true. Oh, it's so man. I'm not Drake is not shy when it comes to flirting with women, even his fans. This woman had no idea she got Drake's attention until he looked right at her. Hey, like, 
Drake gets a lot of attention from his fans, so Ellen asked him the ultimate question. Never have I ever hooked up with a fan on tour. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm being what, what is a fan like? While he initially plays dumb, he can't help but admit the truth. And it makes a lot of sense. What, what is a fan like? Someone that just enjoys your, like, uh, all right. Yeah, because you know. Never in her wildest dreams did she think this would happen to her at a Drake concert. She was not ready for what he had to say. What would you think if he chose you? Nicki Minaj was enjoying Drake's speech until he complimented a woman who's not her. Nessa Hudgens, you look incredible tonight. I want to say. Luckily, Drake redeemed himself with his final comment. Nikki loved it and couldn't hold back her admiration. I want to say, Nikki Minaj, I'm so glad we found our way back because I love you and I could never, ever, ever see it any other way. Drake superfan Nunu Nels could not leave him alone at the Smack URL MC rap battle. Her body language is very clear. She would have loved to have him all to herself. <laughs> We're sure the women at the Celtics vs. Raptors game wish they were Doris Burke. Getting this kind of attention from Drake would have made their day. If only. An enormous Doris Burke fan. I'm appreciative of that back, Mike. That he's a crazy NBA fan? <laughs> no, but he's a Doris <laughs> Burke fan. <laughs> Halle Berry is classier than the typical thirsty fan, but she is not one to shy away when an opportunity presents itself. It made me laugh. This is, this is a jacket he's wearing, and he turned around. That's you. <laughs> He was wearing a, a Halle Berry jacket. I know. Is this uh, a Bond girl? That is. She knew exactly how to respond to Drake. I wasn't going to let that go undone. <laughs> oh, really? So you, you <laughs> so responded? today I posted something. Yeah. Here for a good time, just not a long Drake. time. That's just for Drake right there. That's his lyric right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drake makes a strong impact everywhere he goes, even walking down Melbourne's International Airport. This Australian fan was especially overwhelmed seeing him. She couldn't hold back how he made her feel. 